The Chauncey Hayden Show is sponsored by Hover.com. Go to gfq.hover.com and get 10% off your entire purchase. FreshBooks. FreshBooks is an easy-to-use online invoicing service that saves you time, gets you paid faster, and makes you look professional. Get started completely for free at FreshBooks.com. And by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook by going to audiblepodcast.com slash gfq. Location provided by Sapphire, New York. Visit them at nysapphire.com. Welcome to the Chauncey Hayden Show live from the Sapphire Gentlemen's Club in New York City from the back room. And here she comes, Jessica. We were just talking about you. We said she's not going to come in and walk in the middle of the show. And here you come in in the middle of the show. You know what's great about Jessica being on the show right now? Because last week I did Andrew's show and I was describing to him what goes on during the show and it's happening before our eyes. Jessica gets hammered and as she drinks, Andrew's veins pop out of his neck and he gets tighter and more upset and Jessica becomes more fun. And it's, the dynamic is incredible to watch. The anger, watching Andrew's face change as his wife drinks herself into oblivion. Yeah, you may need to drink a little more, Andrew. No, the I reason why fun. the reason why I get uptight is because I'm the one who drinks and gets shrunk by the end of the night. So she needs to drive home. Yeah, well, so that's now not I got to. I got to. I think you sober. have to accept the fact that your wife may have a drinking problem. Yeah, I yeah. think we're at that point now. <laughs> There's a once a year situation yeah. where she drinks so much. Yeah, where she she'll get. I mean, just destroy drunk. Then take off all of her clothes and start vomiting in the bathroom. Why can't we have a show like that? It's a home. When when yeah. can that happen but on this show? That's pretty smart to take off your clothes before yeah. you vomit. Does she tie back her own hair? No, no. It just it does vomit all over the floors and her <laughs> naked swimming in the vomit. Can we please have a show where Jessica gets can naked and vomits all over the studio? That would be excellent. That would be the greatest show. I told her next time. History. I think you need to YouTube that next time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> please. I mean, how many how many hits? did two girls one cup get i mean come on you could get like a billion oh my god in, insane in, yeah in but two days although i still wonder about that i still don't think that that's real poop you don't by the way let me just say who who's talking <laughs> so on the sh- this is a great show tonight this may be <laughs> last week was amazing we may top it this week in fact i know we're going to top it this week we have <laughs> my beautiful beautiful guest and you don't know my name uh, anymore. wait can you can tell me your name <laughs> Bill- oh, wait i'm gonna i'm gonna before you say a word maybe she Shorter, do you know this woman's name can you say, can anyone in the studio say this woman's name? Where's the card? <laughs> no, it's the hardest name to say. It's not that hard. There it is. Say, say that name. It's not that hard. I can't even see that from over here. Andrew, <laughs> do you know this woman's name? Can you say it? Can someone please say it? Here, give me the card. I'm going to throw it over. Where's the card? I'm going to throw the card over. I challenge you to pronounce this name. It's not that hard. Oh, <laughs> great, great job. Card. Give me another card. Let's see who has my name on Oh, come on. Oh, I'm going to spell, I'm gonna spell it. This is, this is her name. S like Sam, E R E G O N. Pronounce it. I dare you. I challenge you. Sound it out like in kindergarten. Saragon. 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 Soft. Saragon. I'm never. Do you know how many times I'm going to ask you your name? <laughs> Saragon. I said it I, like 12 let times. Let me see if I can write it down like phonetically. S E R. Sir. S E R. Saragon. Sarah. Gone. Saragon. Yes. All right. It's like Electric Factory. I got. I got to practice it. Saragon. <laughs> so Saragon O'Daisy. O'Daisy. How do you say it? <laughs> oh what? O'Daisy. Oh, what did I say? O'Daisy. Yes. So Dasi. Yes. You're just busting my balls. No, I'm not. That's really heavy. Das. Dasi. Yes. All right. Saragon. I got a big ass. You can remember it like that. Saragon O'Daisy is on the show, and she's an actress. She is a scream queen, mm-hmm. and she's a vampire. Oh, and the lights just went out when the you said that too. Out. That was so. Vampire, like a real vampire. Like modern living vampire. Like you, like, like you suck blood. Not regularly. If you did it once, I'm about to go out of my mind. <laughs> you would take those beautiful teeth of yours and put them into someone's neck and suck their Only blood? Only with permission and I don't break <laughs> skin. All right. So how do you get the blood out? It's very... Usually, it's not It's not like what people think it is. If somebody makes, uh, you know, like a cut and it happens to bleed or, you know, something like is that. Is your boyfriend yeah. a vampire? 
yes. See, I would be. I'm to, not a vampire, but if I knew it me required me to be a vampire to date you, no, I would that suck the blood out of Andrew right now. I would put my teeth into Andrew's neck and I would suck him dry. If I knew that at the end of the day, well, that what's would wrong be with such Andrew? Why would you kill Andrew? He's a nice guy. Well, I need Shona to produce the show. <laughs> but Andrew, I would he's suck He's using you, Andrew. Anyone you tell no, me to. No, he secretly hates me. Anyone you tell me to, if you if <laughs> you don't know what a turn on it is, to know that you get into biting people drives me out of my fucking mind. Because <laughs> you look like you almost have bang. Like, that's the sexiest thing in the world. I do have teeth. These are my natural teeth. They're not made like... They look sharp. Yeah. You like something out of True Blood. You like a character out of True Blood. Only sexy. I would kill to be on True Blood. I should be on True Blood. Everybody emails me like when that mo- when that first came out. Everybody was like, "Why are you not on True Blood?" Because you're too real. Because it's because it's not a game to you. It's not a game. It's real life. When but was I'm the an actress. Like you've like been to someone's team. neck. Um, it's actually been uh, it's actually been a while. So you're probably thirsty. <laughs> not not. You laugh hilarious. like a vampire. You. Literally laugh like a vampire. If you went to your boyfriend, uh-huh. who we've confirmed is also a vampire, and you said to him, I met this guy, and he is into getting his skin bitten and his blood sucked. Can I have permission to, to bite him? Would he say yes? Probably not. Fuck! What does it take? So what does it have to happen for you to well, bite? Well, it doesn't have to be your neck. Like, give me. Well, you, you want to see? You bite my sh- hand? You want to see bite? how sharp my teeth are here? What were you, you gonna bite something? Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Is Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me for real. Andrew. Ah! Ah! Look at her teeth. No, she has fangs. I'm not even kidding. No. She, no. Come here. I'm, she, no, I'm not even kidding. I just put a little tiny no. dent in it. No, you're 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 nuts. Look, <laughs> I'm not I'm not even fucking joking. She's I I was joking a minute ago, and I'm not joking now. She's got fangs. The bitch got fangs. Look, <laughs> open your mouth. Open your it mouth, or I'll hurt. hold it open and make everybody look. <laughs> look at it. Look what she has. She does have fangs. Yeah, Jessica, look. Yeah. Come here, Jessica, look. I'm when not I even kidding. Kid, She's got bangs. When I was a kid, the dentist wanted to like shave them down, and I bit his finger. I was like, "No, you're not going to shave down." That's my what teeth. they did to me. I uh, my two teeth no. are bangs, and These they shaved them no, down. No, 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 no. Those are bat. Ma- that's a bat mouth. I actually have a pictures. Holy! When I was a, t- when I was a kid, can you see it? Or am I making it up? When I was a kid, I have a picture from when I was a kid that they're actually they sharp. They're not fake. A lot of people make them fake. I have a good friend of mine in Philadelphia that has them permanently attached. That is the se- my finger hurts so bad right now, and it's I've never been so turned on in my life. Bad. Do you suck your boyfriend's blood? Mm, sometimes, but not a lot. So when you're having sex, you bite into his neck, or anywhere, not, just not bite in into his body. Not in an aggressive way, in a sexual way. In a sexual way. way. Well, you know, more nibbling, like like you do to... You know, how like hot is that? Do. You just nibble each other's neck. Does he right? bite into you? Sometimes. But again, same thing. It's not really, like, not forceful that you leave a mark. Jesus Christ. When... That's too... That's too... Do you belong people. to, like, a vampire society? You do, don't you? I used to. I, I, knew, it, I knew it. I knew it. I don't anymore because, you know, acting full time, it just got to be too much. And, and I it, couldn't go to all the gatherings and things like that. But I want to have a vampire party at my house this Friday. You should go to Dracula's Ball with me in Philadelphia. My very, very I don't want to go to Patrick. Philadelphia. I, 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 I'm not going to Philadelphia with you. I want you to come to Glen Rock, New Jersey and have a vampire party. I want Glen this Rock, Friday. Why Glen Rock? Because that's where I live. I can't Friday. Why? I'm, I'm leaving for a film for two weeks on <sighs> Friday. See? Nothing ever works Chelsea, you look like you could belong to some vampire society. Am I so pale? You haven't seen the the <laughs> sun in years. Can I? I got I to gotta be honest. I, I really it's thought... The, it's the pale redhead. I mean, this yeah. is... Does that turn you on? Does my paleness turn you on? The paleness? Yeah, you you're into pale guys. Like you don't want you don't like we. I know right away you don't like Guidos. You're not into the whole Guido <laughs> thing, right? Uh, Italian, yes. Guido, the stereotype. Oh, so no, you no, no, do no, no, like no. Italians? I like Italians, but not the Guido stereotype. How do you feel about pale Irishmen like me that are so so milky white that it's actually nauseating? I like the white, but you know what? what? You know what I like about the as pale a victim Irishman? though. As a what? <laughs> you can. If tie you had to kill Ton, that would totally do it. The you insecurity. You could seriously. I want to ask you something. I'm not even kidding around. What if, and I'm dead serious. You're gonna think I'm kidding, and I'm not. What if I? This is this is what I'd like to do. 
blindfold myself, handcuff myself to a pole in my basement, and just sit there with my door open. And you can bring any of your vampire friends, your boyfriend, anyone you know is a vampire, and I don't even know who's biting me. Just start feeding off me. Feed off me. Like, as if I'm a, a, a Whopper with cheese minus the onions. <laughs> like, just feed off me. Well, the and then just go, don't, and don't say a word. Never talk. I just want to hear the slurping sounds of you feeding off my skin, and then you go home. Well, see, here's the thing. Lock we the door because I have cats. We don't, <laughs> we don't bite so hard that we pierce the skin. That that can cause some infection and some damage, and we don't want to do that. You can if though, if you want. If you get carried away, it's okay. We'll probably just nibble a little bit, just in in a, again like a little sexual. So way. like my finger has an indentation in it right now. My finger still has. I would never pierce anybody. Do you have friends that might be willing to pierce my skin? And feed off Possibly. my. Possibly. F- How many friends do you have like that? That look anything close to like anything close to you? That look like I do. They I can be overweight. A lot of vampires I know are overweight you because that because they get into it because nobody else wants them and it's like a weird thing because they want acceptance. You're like a freak of nature. Most vampires in real life well, don't look like that's not necessarily you. a. Where did you find this thing? fact? Oh, I, I did my research before that's the interview. Not, that's not necessarily. I mean, the scene and the club scene, maybe right. and. Goth, yes, but vampirism is more like a, a, a different way of life. Then there actually is a difference, but um, I know what you're saying. They're either very overweight or very, very skinny. Right. There's r- rarely an in between, and I don't even know why that Saragon? is. That's just very, very weird. Saragon. I'm gonna handcuff myself to a pole. <laughs> I'm gonna give you my address. Well, we're in a we're in a strip club. We can the pole. Even no, the pole no. This is gonna be much <laughs> darker, much more serious than that. This is gonna be for real. I'm going to give you my address. I'm just going to show I'm going to handcuff myself to a pole and blindfold myself. <laughs> the front door is going to be open. I don't care who you bring or how many people you bring. Just no penises, please. <laughs> don't turn it into something ridiculous. No penises. And I, I have a question, Sean. Does that go on? Do threesomes go on in the vampire world? Threesomes go on everywhere. I know, but is it... Is he it, doesn't is know. It he doesn't prim- know these things. I know. I do know about these things. <laughs> But if you watch, you know, you watch any kind of movie, you see that that's the orgy scene is like a big deal in the vampire world. It's not specifically for that, no. I want you to forget everything you just heard. <laughs> and I want you to focus back on me. And I'm going to ask you again. Forget what just happened over the last 30 seconds. <laughs> Look me in the eye. Can that happen? Can I leave my door open? You don't even have to be the one to bite me. You can be the ringleader. You can go out there and, and recruit <laughs> other women. That would be a turn on. And I don't know who's biting me or, or what's going on. Just bite my naked body. And then when you leave, lock the door because I have cats. That's all I'm asking. Close the door behind you. Do you have you. a black cat? I have two white cats. I've never been so serious in all the years I've done well I could give people the address but I don't know like what can you make it ha- can you make it happen can you organize this and make it happen possibly alright we'll talk later that's all I want to know just give me hope just give me hope because I'm so submissive when it comes to this kind of stuff for real like I, I would totally be into it you're the sub and the, and yeah, the yeah yeah and you can just feed off me for real for real you think I might bite you to pieces if we don't ever do that photo shoot <laughs> no, we're going to do the photo shoot. Now you're probably afraid to do it, but I'm, I'm telling Me you. Are you afraid to do it? Hell no. Andrew, how good looking is this girl? I can't stop looking at her. Oh, I, she's beautiful. I can't. <laughs> she's I, beautiful. I knew you were going to be hot, but she I didn't was. expect you to be this hot. I, I, I'm flustered. I actually don't even know I can do the rest of the show. You're ridiculous. And you have bangs. And you're a scream you queen. You didn't know that. You're on my Facebook. You saw my pictures. I, I smile in a lot of pictures you saw. I too. never saw your fangs. In any of my pictures? No. You yeah, you're into some weird stuff I know. You know what I like about you? Because it's so obvious you're into weird stuff. <laughs> what are you, what's your fetish? What's your big thing? Besides uh, sucking blood. Um, I don't know. What is it like What is it like having you for a girlfriend? Like, If, if I'm the, the lucky guy, what is it like? What do we do at night? It's got to be crazy. <laughs> it's not like what you think. I mean, once in a once in a while, you know, I would do what you know what cu- we do. What couples do, but basically, do couples do bring home other girls? Did no. you ever bring home another girl? No, my boyfriend doesn't like that. He doesn't want it. No. Do you? Are you bisexual? Um, of course you are. You're an actress. By curious, yeah. You're by curious. Have you been with a woman? Yeah. If your boyfriend said to you, please go out tonight it's a Friday night bring home a woman would you do it yeah 
And he doesn't want it? No. Oh, this is ridiculous. That's the silliest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my life. Are you serious? Really? I swear. So you're saying you would go out and get a, a hot girl to come home with you to be with you and your boyfriend, and he prefers for that not to happen. Mm-hmm. And this guy excites you. He turns you on. We've been together for a long time, yeah. It wouldn't, it wouldn't turn you off if he said do that. Would it turn me off? No. I don't even know what to say. I really don't even know what to say. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> you, I, I would marry I've you tomorrow. I've been to strip clubs with guys, too. I've been to strip clubs, and I've been like... Yeah. I've done Amazing. Like, threesomes. I, I can't even stop. You've been in threesomes? Yeah, it was a while ago. That was a long time ago. For your boyfriend? Or just or, no, or, no, or, or a couple before, found before. you? A couple found you. No, Well, the guy I was seeing at the time. You were dating a guy. Yeah. And he asked you to find a girl. Mm-hmm. And you did. Yeah. And you had a threesome. Well, he didn't ask me to find somebody. It just kind of happened. And it doesn't ruin your relationship afterwards. The next day, everything's fine. Yeah. You wake up in bed, all three of you. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. I can never make that happen. I went what down kind and made kind of what, what does it take to make that happen? Why can't I find that girl? Why can't I find that girl? It's either lo- not a lot of girls are into it because they're, they're actually scared of the whole, like, uh... You know, insecurity. They're, they're, sca- they're insecure, or they they don't know how to explore their sexuality, or they I, don't know, things like that, or you know they don't know how the guy's gonna react, or like if the girl brings it up, the guy's like, "Where'd you learn that?" Because a lot of guys want to be the one to suggest things. Do you know how much fun we'd be having together, you and I? We'd be having a lot of fun. Oh my god, <laughs> the the party we'd be having it would change your life. It would change your life. I'm not even kidding. We would have fun like you've never experienced. We would do things that you've never considered. <laughs> Because I have no limits. Like, a lot of guys have limits. A lot of guys can only go so far. I- I've yet to find my limit. I think my limit is that whole, like, you know, pee-poo fetish. Uh-uh. Not into it. No. No golden showers for <laughs> no, you. No, 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 no. We don't have to do that. But, um, but you know, other than that, like, you want to dress up like a baby and jump How around about and How about it? prostate massage? I don't think I've ever done that, but... Yeah. See what I'm saying? Of course you haven't. But with me, you would. With me, we'd be experimenting. Sure. Sure. I have a nurse's outfit. That'd be kind of cool. I, you know what? I mean, I'm actually mad at you. I didn't want to talk to you because <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing's going to happen. And, and your boy, I guess the, more I think, the more I look at you and the more I think about it, I hate your boyfriend more and more. I hate you more and more because it just shows how miserable and how sad my life is and that I will never experience the things that your <laughs> little never. lucky boyfriend in New Jersey is Don't getting say never. You never no, know. No, believe me, it's never happening for me. <laughs> never. There's nobody that looks like you with little sharp razor teeth that's into bringing home women is ever going to give me the time of day. <laughs> and the more I listen Maybe to you... Maybe if you were killed... Well, no, no, of because of how I look and that's the bottom line. Can I, we're going to get to you in, in another <laughs> minute but I want to just say one thing and this is something that's been going on for the last week, and I have to apologize to Andrew, and I think Jessica, I'm not sure. I, I have this thing I've been doing lately that, and I'm sure people watching the show can relate to. You're scared I'm about to say, aren't you? Don't be afraid. It can't be good. No, it's not that bad. You're apologizing already, and you're saying, I've been doing this thing for the last couple of weeks. It's been, and it's getting out of control, and it's oh actually no. getting out of control. What happened? And I'm actually concerned about it, because I, I, I realize I've lost grip of the situation. This is what I'm doing now, and I'm doing it every night, and it starts at 10 o'clock at night. Masturbation? That starts at 6 in the morning for that's, him. That's, that starts <laughs> about 5 a.m. It doesn't end until about 11 o'clock. It ends at 11 o'clock at night. You're so fun. You're just so fun. <laughs> Everything is so fun. This is me sober, by the way. I want you to know. I hate you. I hate your little sharp teeth and your little vampirish <laughs> ways. Th- this is what I've been doing. I've been taking Ambien at about 11 o'clock at night, and I don't fall asleep, and then it starts. About 20 minutes later, I start texting, and I've been texting some bizarre shit, some really, really crazy shit to people I shouldn't be texting. Does everybody know the actress Taryn Manning from Hustle and Flow, 8 Mile? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blonde chick. Yeah. Yeah. Hot beautiful blonde talented actress that sings and, and is in all these hit movies I've been sending her some creepy dark messages Are you every me? how do you night? not fall asleep with Ambien in 20 minutes you're supposed to the point, right under no, your ass. you don't even understand how weird it's getting I'm sending her fucking stalking crazy messages to the point where every morning at 9 o'clock I have to apologize 
and I'm begging her for forgiveness. Uh, do you know her? Are you friends with her? Did I you just do like no, a photo shoot? I interviewed shoot? her one time for an upcoming issue of the magazine. In 2002. No, like last month I interviewed her and she gave me her Facebook account. Like mm. we were friends now on Facebook and I have her, her cell phone and I'm taking Ambien and I'm sending some wild shit to her. Wild shit. Wild stuff. Like, like what? What do you Not saying? just her, but I think Jessica got something too. Did you get anything? Did you hear about a party I want to have at my house Friday night? Oh, yes. yes. All right. Yes, I heard yeah. about a party yes. I wanted to have at your Friday house. <laughs> well, you asked me to bring a pool table. Yeah. <laughs> that was an ambient, it was an ambient text message. I need yes, to give you my s- cell phone so I get these funky text yeah. messages. Oh, so next crazy. time I come on the show, I can be like, It's Kinnam. crazy what you get. And you know what's funny? You asked me to bring single girls and a pool table. Yeah, I want and you to bring you know a pool table and single girls. Because you could carry that, right? Right, of course. And so then I was thinking, you know, oh, ha, ha, because he, miss, he missed, you know, the way that he should have said that. He should have, like, put a period and then <laughs> restarted. You're my grandma. And, then I go, and, then I said, <laughs> and then I said, okay, well, you know what? I'm not going to say anything because I'm always accused of being a bitch to Chauncey because I make fun. I'm pick asking a party you to bring a does. pool table so to my all, house. Yes, but you know what? I didn't even say anything to you what did i say i said andrew has a show on friday i don't know if i'll I, be able I, to I, make I it that's what something? i said because i didn't want to be accused of being a bitch once Very again well to handled. see i was gonna send you an apology because i sent everybody else an apology and i said she's not saying anything <laughs> and she probably just thinks i'm fucking around so i let it go everybody else got no an apology. we were driving to dinner she goes oh by the way charles he's having a party on friday and night he wants a pool table and some girls and, and, and he wants a pool table and some girls i said well I don't think I could do to girls, but I think I could possibly bring a pool <laughs> table. You're actually gonna come with a pool table. Yeah. You're actually gonna bring a pool table to my house. Thinking about You're it. You're so crazy. You guys are so crazy that you yeah. thought my crazy text was like a normal text. Oh, Chauncey needs a pool table and some girls. Chauncey, everything. There's, there's no like you. You've passed that limit of crazy so long ago. Oh. Where this is just normal for you us. You don't even know what I've been doing to people that don't even really know me, and I send these messages out that are so fucking dark. So, so what I do now, I, I sent a series of apologies out to everybody. Now, when I take my Ambien, I shut my phone off and I th- actually take the phone and I throw it, I toss it across the room. So I have no access to get, and, and, and I'm still finding the next morning that somehow during the night, I'm doing something to get a hold of people. I don't know if I'm getting up and going to my computer downstairs. I'm doing something because the messages are still getting out. I just saw on Facebook the other day, it's like, you thought it was Viagra? Are you taking Ambien and getting a hard on? Like, well, what is the no, problem? the other night, that was the other thing. I, I took Viagra by you accident the other night. I took, I, 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 I'm addicted to Ambien. I take it every night. It's the only way I can sleep. But the other night, I, I was in a daze and I opened up my pill. Th- th- I have a drawer full of a like thousand pills and I popped a Viagra. What else do you have in there? How do you get Viagra? I got oxycodone. What? How do you get Viagra? <laughs> You go to the doctor and you say, I can't get a heart on it. It gives you Viagra. What are you, crazy? Yeah, why would you need Wh- that, though? You're because I can't get lad. an erection. Yes, you can. You're a strapping young lad. What's the No, matter? no. When you get to a certain age where you don't take chances. You don't. When I, I get an opportunity to have sex like once every couple of months. <laughs> when, that op- when that opportunity comes, it's not going to be me not performing. When I get that chance... I'm gonna be God. Like I'm gonna be a sex God when yeah, it happens. You have to take it like an hour before you think you're gonna get it. Trossy thinks he's gonna get it every day, no, so he takes it every I, morning. I'm taking it right now. I'm gonna during the break. I'm gonna take it. I mean, just in case you and I, <laughs> so, by some bizarre chance, something happens. No, I, I, if I meet a girl, if I think I'm gonna meet a girl, I take Viagra, just in case. But then what, what if you don't? Then you're walking around. I get so mad. I get so mad because it's expensive as shit. It, it drives me crazy. If I if I take Viagra and nothing happens, it's the most devastating thing in the world because you don't even know how much that is. It, it's like something like $30 a pill. It's a lot what? of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Insurance doesn't cover it? No. Insurance does not cover no, Viagra? No, it does not cover Viagra. No. I thought it did. I was sure it did. My, well, yours may, maybe your crazy vampire insurance does. <laughs> my, 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 in the real world, humans don't, I don't have know, that I've kind of I've never taken it. I don't think I'm ever going to take it. No. But, but the other night, so I took Viagra, <laughs> and I realized now I have an erection, and it's time to go to bed. So, so I'm thinking, do I take my Ambien, or do I stay up all night with an erection alone? Well, if you, you know, or do I go to bed with an erection Well, get and the sleep? Playboy channel or something, because then you can, you know... Seriously, you you know say what? that so easy, like you're so cocky. 
you and your boyfriend having great sex. Everything's great. I'm the lonely guy with the bald head and pale skin with taking Viagra so I can beat off to the Playboy channel. And you have no problem with that. You matter how sad is that? You have to take Viagra to beat off to the Playboy channel. It's not channel. even real porn. You know like, real? I don't it's care if I have a, th- a throbbing erection while I'm watching the Playboy channel. If it's, What's if it's if only halfway. You've got, halfway, an, you've got I don't an erection for how long? How long does it last? Well... The stuff that I take lasts for three days. It's actually pretty good. I take the um, Levitra. 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 It lasts for forty. Well, actually, forty-eight hours. You can get. You can make. You can push it to the third day, but two days. You're hold on. So you take one pill. You have an erection for two days. Two days. What's your number? Stop. What are you stop because I'm going to take you serious. I'm sensitive. For two days? Stop. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. And stop saying That's it because I will. For me. She thinks. Wait till she finds out what she's in for. Because I will be the crazy guy that it's going to. All right. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see what happens, right, Jessica? Wait till you see what you're in for. I'm. I'm not stable. Like I. I will take Ambien and Viagra and and text you all night. You don't okay. mind, but you're so you're kind of kinky. Like you won't mind. How about this? You and your boyfriend, while you're having sex, leave the cell phone on the side of the bed. And just let me text you crazy things. Text me crazy things. I can't wait till I get that phone call that a pale-skinned man with a raging heart on is in the middle of the LIE just screaming, can I have some money? Yeah. Just cause you'll be in this ape ambient days with the Viagra. It'll it'll be great. Ambient used to put me to bed. The problem is I don't fall asleep now. I just get nuts. Wait, I don't go to sleep. Wait a second. If the erection's the problem, why don't you do like that HBO show, Hung? Why don't you be like a male... Prostitute. Or How much do you think I'm worth on the open market money. today? All right, you're home. You're on a you're on a travel vacation. You're you're lonely. You call for a male escort. Okay. I show up at your front door. Okay. What are you paying me? I don't. What's the rate for a male escort? I don't know. I, I charge two hundred dollars for the hour. Okay. So then I guess it's two hundred dollars. But if it's an erection for forty eight hours, it's it's going to be more. That's a lot of money. <laughs> so you don't you don't see me as. Ugly? No, yeah. you're not. I never. Who you said ugly? No one said ugly. Wait, where'd you go? Why'd you go there? Where'd that? I think that's. What no, you don't. You see me as an attractive man. Why not? All right. I found my new co-host. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. I like you. You're you're not as bad as you as you make yourself out to be. I don't, I don't think I'm bad. You're not. That's why I can't understand. Am I better looking? Am I better looking than your boyfriend? No, you're just different. In what way? He has a little nose and and, and doesn't have squinty eyes. And is he a, a ginger? Bald head. Is he a ginger? No. No. He's Italian. Yeah. Yeah. You like you? No. It's just different. It's just different. Have you ever dated somebody uglier than me? You can answer at any time. Yes. That you have. You've actually dated someone uglier than me. I don't think that you're. Ugly have you ever fallen in love with someone uglier than me? That's asking a lot. That's going too far. I don't know. I don't know if I could answer that because I was really, I was like 18 and I don't really know what love was per se, but I thought I was. Listen, I, I'm really turned on by you to the point where it's distracting. So can we just move on? Please. <laughs> How much time we got before we have to bring in the porn star? Uh, four minutes. We have four minutes. Yeah. All right. Can we say one quick thing about Tila Tequila before we, we go to break? Yes. And bring in? Yes. All right. So last week, anybody who was listening to the show. You saw what happened. Tilt the Killer walked off the air. And it was very awkward in here. A lot of people liked the show. A lot of people thought that I did nothing wrong. Can I just tell you this before we bring in the uh, very overweight porn star who was also... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to expect over the next le- over the next 20 minutes. But this, this Tilt the Killer woman has been texting me all week telling me that she's sorry and she wants me to live with her in LA and wants to go around and uh, wants me to keep a diary, a log of every hour of her life while I'm in Los Angeles next week. What does she do? I mean, we're I gonna find, we're gonna, we're gonna find out. A million we're fans on MySpace, but what does she do? She, uh, she comes on ra- comes on radio shows and walks out because TMZ said in there. Why is she famous? For she, being a whore? See, alleged, alleged. For God's no, no, sake! No, no. For God's no, no, sake! No, no. Let me save the company. No, Let me no. try and save as, the company. As, as in a whore, I mean, I mean, I mean, sleeps around with random men, lies about abortions, right? 
uh, lies about being beat up. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, she has said Alleg- she she you, has said she lied about it. You said abortion. that if she comes so on the show again, you will actually people. confront her. I'll call her. I'll call you're, her. You're, you word. don't get along yeah. with her. No, See, I, I hate her. See, I to be a whore. I'd raise money for my upcoming film a hell of a lot easier yeah. than being an honest person. Yeah, we didn't even talk about you. know what? I feel <laughs> so ahead. bad. We got, we got so caught up in your beauty, we never promoted what you even do. <laughs> Please, before we go to break, you're you're a scream queen. <laughs> besides other things, besides yeah. a vampire and actress, mm-hmm. and you have horror films coming out. I have a what are your horror films? I have Cut, uh, Cleric, which is more sci-fi, uh, Scrooge in the Hood, which is actually a comedy, and a very tongue-in-cheek comedy at that. If So if you like that kind of thing, you'll really love this. It's from Boston Film Family. And we're uh, raising capital for uh, an upcoming film, a science fiction called Gilgamesh, which is going to shoot next fall. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I can't stop. I, 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 Jessica, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't stop looking at her. She's beautiful. But not just beautiful, like in my kind of way. Like beauty, my kind of beauty. How about this, Chauncey? How about we do the, uh, the Stepping Out magazine and I will do a special like vampire or goth image for your October issue? How about this? You do Stepping Out magazine and you take those long, beautiful nails and you just tear them down my back until I bleed. I can do that. Deal? Sure. All right. Wait, uh, deal. deal there. Pinky bite my finger again. So I know it's bite my finger one more time. Oh, Jesus. I really did it. That really hurt. That's a great. My finger's shaking. My finger hurts so bad that it's shaking. That was one second. Is that what you call like soft, <laughs> soft like biting? No, I bit hard, but it was only one second. It was hard. Can we do, listen, can we do one last thing before you go? Because I, one thing we're dying to hear you do. Oh, no. <laughs> we want to hear you scream like a scream, like a real scream, like in a movie, like a horror scream. Can you really scream as <laughs> if I was taking, oh, my finger really hurts, actually. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I can press charges. I'm not even kidding. I may have to have you arrested. I, I want to take a knife. You need to take a picture of this and upload it to Facebook. I want to, are those your real breasts or, or fakes? <laughs> They're mine. Those are real? Yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with you. You're like perfect. We're going to talk all night, you and I. <laughs> so just so you're ready for some crazy shit. We have to We have to take a quick break, and we're going to bring in our porn star. Who Here she is now, actually. Should we just take a break? All right. Let's take a quick break. We're going to bring in a porn star who is slightly overweight, but seems to have a huge market for her type of body. Pardon the pun. Pardon the pun. Right after this. We're back, and you're listening to the Chauncey Hayden Show on the GFQLive.tv channel or GFQNetwork.com. Come on, Andrew. Don't give me a hard time. You know that's right. GFQNetwork.com. Go ahead. Correct me. GFQNetwork.com. GFQNetwork.com. Let's do this again. GFQNetwork.com. That's the website. GF or you start the or show, you or say, oh, you're listening to the Chauncey Hayden Show on the GFQ Network. Visit us oh, I forgot. at I forget. gfqlive.tv. No, I, I'm not buying into it. I can say .com. No one's getting confused. If you say .com, it's all like, ooh, he said .com. Where do yeah, I go? Well, go to dopey. .com. No, but you sound a little no, dopey. No, no, it sound, no. It's, it's your whole little nerdy URL, like we're too cool for the room to yeah. say .com attitude. Okay. You can say .com. Okay. Okay, the Chauncey Hayden Show. The Chauncey Hayden Show. So you want me to say just Chauncey Hayden Show? You don't no, like the word that. No, I'm making fun of you by putting the in front of it like you're some 80-year-old man. There's another woman saying that. So, you, in other words, if I say the Chauncey Hayden show, I no, sound no, no, that's old. Fine. But you if I say. You're listen- no, no, no. You start. We're back with the Chauncey Hayden show on the GFQ network. Dot com. <laughs> you're, catty. you're all catty like girls. We do. We fight. We fight about anything. Anything we can. Anything we can. We'll actually go through the whole show. That will be the show. We'll just fight about dot com, and the show will be over. And we won't even know that Sammy Sprinkles Meanwhile, was sitting here. We have a porn star <laughs> sitting right here. Well, okay. Let Let's get into it. Let's just start. So on the show tonight is Sammy Sprinkles, with an I, who is a porn star. I mean, right, Sammy? I can say you're a porn star. I guess so. I would like to be a porn star someday, but I'm a cam model, technically. That's what uh, you're supposed to call what, me. What do you call yourself? It's a web model cam girl. All right. Now, yeah. listen, I met you on Sunday, yeah. and I asked you what you do for a living, Yeah. and you told me that you do porn on the internet. 
yeah, I fuck myself in front of my web camera. Now, <laughs> you have to understand <laughs> how, how shocking that is the first time you tell that to somebody. Because when I think of a porn star, the first, and, and please, are you, are you sensitive? Oh, or, no. So I, 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 I can talk fuck. to you frankly. Like, yeah. I can be very upfront, and no one's, you're not going to storm out of here like Teal the Killer, right? Oh, no. All right. When I think of a porn star, mm-hmm. you're, are, you're not the first image I think of. I know. Jenna Jameson. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking of Jenna Jameson. Carrera. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Tara Patrick. Mm-hmm. You have a very unique look. Thank you. How would you describe yourself? Um, I guess technically I'm a BBW. What's that? A big, beautiful woman. Oh, okay. You're, you're, you're very large. Yes. You're, uh, you're 260, I think, now. You're 260 pounds. Less than I you got on a scale. I was up to 310 at one point. Can I ask you something? Yeah. I have a million <laughs> questions for you. Yeah. First, first question: Why? Why what? Why am I? I don't fat? know. But <laughs> just why to everything? Like wh- why? Why are you so overweight? What um, is it? A food know. problem or a thyroid been. problem? Well, I don't know. Do you eat a lot? Is it is it your diet or is it? I le- was when sedentary? I was at three ten. I was like constantly eating. It was just like a boy thing, and I was upset all the time. I would just eat and eat and eat. It's psychological because you know what? I'm trying. I'm looking at your face. But I always was at the gym. I was a cheerleader on the track team. I was everything in high school. I was always active. It wasn't. What did you do on the track team? She's very flexible, Chauncey. Yeah, I'm flexible. What did you do on the track team? And don't lie. I threw and I tried to run, but they would never let me run. Were you but a big I girl ran. then? Were you a big girl then? Yeah. See, I'm looking at your face, and I'm trying to imagine you at 110 pounds. If I could wave a magic wand right now and make you 110 pounds, would you want no. that? That you wouldn't want it. No, you don't want to be. Th- no, you, you're afraid of being that thin. I don't think so. I'm not afraid. You feel more comfortable as a large woman, don't you? Um, I would feel comfortable at whatever I was at. You, but you're a very sexual woman, obviously. Yes. I can can I ask you a question? Yeah. How did you, as a bigger girl, how did you get into porn to begin with? And um, how did you know? I how swear to God, when I was 12 years old, I told my mom I wanted to move to Texas and work at the brothels. The fat brothels, because that's the only state you that... You mean like the bunny ranch? Yeah. Did your father rape you as a child? No. Be honest. Who <laughs> raped you? Who? No, somebody Somebody did. No, somebody I, raped you. I, Who was actually, it? Actually, I... Who was it? No. Here it comes. She's I gonna, think I raped she's myself. She's going to tell us right now. That's everybody, everybody be quiet. <laughs> Let us, let's say who raped her. I broke Who my raped hymen. you and how old were you? I broke my hymen when I was four years old with a Lego. What? Yeah. What did she break, Andrew? Her hymen. <laughs> Do you know what that is? Your in her vagina. Yeah. You she put a Lego in her vagina. So yeah. you you <laughs> made you you actually had sex with a Lego. Yeah. You masturbated yourself with a Lego. Yeah. What the hell happened to you oh. at birth? Something happened know. terrible. I don't know. You, do you want to tell us? Or you're no, not ready yet? I don't know. You're not I wish there I yet. You're not mm. at that point yet. <laughs> you know what I want to know, Charles? Like you you went down from three ten yeah. to your current weight. Yeah. Does that hurt your value yes, in the definitely. business? Definitely. Everyone's like, you should be a gainer. I miss you being a lot fatter. So like, you're fat enough for me. If, if I was in the fat people, the you'd be fat enough. It just like fell off because I broke up with my boyfriend, and then fucking fifty pounds. There you go. If I was wow. like, second, you lost weight breaking up with your boyfriend. Yep. Most women, it's the other way around. How does that an happen? Asshole. I'm so much happier now. <laughs> Do you bring? You're into threesomes, aren't you? Hell yeah! And see, the one, the one thing about see, I, the one thing about dating you, really anything goes, doesn't it? Like I, I could, I could, I could, I could do anything. You're not uh, going to say no to one single yeah, request. I've, I've never said no yet. I mean, I could bring home a garbage can, and we're going to have fun with it, aren't we? Probably, <laughs> yeah. Like, there's nothing. You would eat ice cream off of me, right? I just did a photo shoot yesterday. I had to eat ketchup and baked beans and spaghettios. Okay. Me. Now it's a little weird. This this is a family show. A lot of young children watch this, so I'm gonna be careful how I put this. <laughs> but let's just say all right, without Andrew getting too excited. Let's just say I'm into chocolate ice cream. Yeah. And I don't know the fr- we're at ice cream in the fridge. Uh-huh. So I want something else chocolate. Okay. And it doesn't have to be that cold. It can actually be room temperature. Uh. <laughs> and I say to you Hey, honey, we're out of ice cream. It doesn't have to be that cold, and if it's room temperature and steamy, it's okay. <laughs> Would you be able to accommodate my request? Um, and I'm strange. Oh no, we know he's he's out of his mind. If I can't we say were, any cleaner than that. If we were dating and I was in love, definitely. See what anything? Oh, you're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> See, I can overlook a lot of things with you. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh what? no, I've given a blumpkin. Yeah. What is that, Andrew? What is a blumpkin? Uh, a, a blumpkin is when you um, defecate. Yeah. So you lay on, you sit oh, on someone's oh, face. Oh no, it's while he's doing it, and I suck his dick. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. so yeah. while I I'm on, I'm on the so bowl. Like, so he's on the toilet. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't understand that so much. I like to read when I'm doing that. I read the toothpaste labels. Like, I like to read the back of the toothpaste warning labels and stuff. I do the conditioner. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'd want you to do that. Uh, Afterwards, though. No, yeah, he didn't like it. It was I like a tug of war in his pelvis. That people leave in my, like, hallway, you know. The incinerator room in my in my building. Somebody left, like, a year's worth of um, I gotta be... Honestly, we're so talking we're talking about steamy chocolate. I'm this just telling this you what yeah. I... This might be the wrong time to bring up I'm your... I'm telling you what I read while you, I'm... When you look at Saragon, do you, do you hate her? Seriously, do you hate her? No, actually, I like skinny girls. Do you? Like, I would definitely rather hook up than with a skinny girl. If Sarah Connor was into you, would you would you go out with her right now? Would you want to yes. date? Yes. In yes. a second, right? Yes, in a second. Would you? Sarah Gunn, <laughs> you're into some bizarre shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you look at Sammy here, Sammy Sprinkles, in your wildest, kinkiest moment, could you ever, ever see yourself making love to Sammy Sprinkles? Her specifically or a bigger girl? Sammy Sprinkles. If I knew her and she was a friend of mine, you yeah. Could, you could get into that? Oh, that just ruined it if for I, me. Because I just was i was actually getting a little excited when you said I wasn't ugly and you would go out with me. If I now knew her. You thought you were the ex- if no. I knew her and I knew her personality and I liked her as a person, but if I didn't know her, would I hook up with her on the fly? No, she's not really my type. No offense. Oh, no worries. See, Sam, Sammy, Sammy, would Sammy you, me. Go ahead. Would you hook up with Chauncey? Um, I don't know. I, oh, well, oh, come on. No, Sammy, that's, a go no. Out. Oh, that's, that's a no. That's unbelievable. No. So I'm going to kill myself right now. <laughs> like three if months. You, if you seriously have to even hesitate for a second, I'm literally going to take this pen and stick it through my, my juggler vein. No, three months ago, yes. But I've been trying to be celibate for the past three months. So it's not it's not a matter of not being attracted to me. Yeah. So Wait, you're trying to be celibate. Why you trying to be celibate? Oh, because I was just fucking anything, anywheres, and I was like... And now my luck comes so along, and my time <laughs> comes, and now now you're celibate. So this is like the balancing act? Yeah, kind of. I felt really bad. How many um, times have you had have you had intercourse in your life? Oh, I, I couldn't even tell you. I've more than 50 clue. times? Definitely. More than Probably two, more than 50 guys. So more than yeah. 2,000 times? Mm, um, I was with one dude for six years, and we would fuck nonstop, so it's probably up there. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. No, You're there's something the wrong with that. No, no, yeah. this is wrong. The same person. No, right? no, this is wrong. This whole thing's wrong. You you make me very sad. Why? I find this great, great sadness in you. Where Saragon makes me want to masturbate like a monkey. Yeah. I look at you and uh-huh. I want to cry. Oh, why? Why? She was with the same guy for how long? That's her no. boyfriend. What's wrong with her? I, I her find Sammy Sprinkles. Mm-hmm. There's something about you that breaks my heart. Why? You make me sad. You make me feel like something terrible happened to you. I think the total. I find. I find you. I see you. You cry every night when you go to sleep. Do you cry yourself to sleep every night? I when I was little. Do you pick at your skin and say, "I wish I was somebody else"? Um, I you do. I do. No, hold on. Now, no, no, no. Well, once I started getting naked for people, I'm totally happy and 100. Like, but you can you, check everywhere. But you I've did pick at your skin and say, I wish I was somebody else. Oh, when I was little, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, See, I, I know Sammy. Yeah, man. exactly. Every girl I talk to. Every kid, every boy, too. Boys well, yeah, boys I do too. it every day. Sammy, yeah. what I is... I wish th- I was someone else that I didn't have to deal with. Oh, no, I and used you to shut up. Look at you. Your like, little beautiful self. I used to wish <laughs> I was skinny every day. And then, like, once I got laid, I was like, fuck this. Guys want to fuck me, so let's go. Well, well, good-looking guys have sex with you yes. just because I, like, any I, guy will fuck you. Hold on. I fucked the Bowflex model. A Bowflex model? A guy? Like, one of the guys from the commercials, yeah. No way! Yeah. But, th- but you know what, Sammy? They're not going to call you the next day. You know that. No, I still talk to them. You want to text them? The, no, they're <laughs> not They don't. They're not going to love you. You know that. Oh, I don't want to love it's them. It's themselves. They're all douchebags anyway. Those yeah. Those little idiots. You wake up. Aww. Do they leave after they have sex with you? Do they walk out of the room? They don't no, sleep. No, I they don't, don't leave. No, all right, Sammy, I've I want you to be honest. Like Sammy, Sammy, I want you to be honest now. What? Because I know you're, you're being I honest. I am very honest. When a man has sex with you. Yeah. There's no spooning and overnight stays. They're out of there. Because like the I won't. I've is that, is that how you justify? Dude. Is that what you say to yourself? I won't. Aww. Sammy, what? Sammy, I want you to be honest. I've got Ma- a man will not a man. Listen to me, Sammy. Yeah, all right, a I'm man listening. will not spend a night with you. 
Am I right? Telling me that as a fact. I'm I'm telling you that that's the truth, and I want no. you to confirm it. Definitely not. Men men will let a man will have sex with you and hold you all night, and and kiss your neck and tell you he, that he cares about you. Yes. When is the last time that happened? Last night. <laughs> Honestly. Yes. Honestly, like Sammy, it. stop. Yeah, well, I want you to stop. You want to call him? I swear, a girl what does he look arms. like? Uh, is he an overweight man? What's an overweight? What does he look like? Uh, he's like taller than me, and he's punk rock with mohawk. It's pink. He's a comedian. He's down on 14th Street right now. So, so he's a heroin addict? No. What's his drug problem? What's his problem? Oh, no, he does uh, drinking. Oh, he's an alcoholic. All right. Yeah. So, so what, what is the... What, <laughs> it, what, what it, the that, just, that just explained a lot of things. What is the craziest sexual request you ever had? Um, I don't know. There's this creeper that keeps coming <laughs> into my cam room trying to get me to shit on a piece of bread and eat it. On a piece of bread? Yeah. I won't do it. Why, why, won't you, why won't you do something like that on a piece of bread? I why a piece of bread? That's what I want to know. And does it have to be whole wheat or, or white? <laughs> is it specific? <laughs> whole grain. No, he doesn't. Does it, have to, does it matter what kind of bread it is? No. I don't Andrew, think so. you have a question. Uh, I did. Now I forgot with the whole, <laughs> with, the, with the defecating on the bread thing. It just totally threw me a, off. Wait, I have a question. Do they pay you to masturbate or actually have sex? Um, I used to have sex, but now I won't. I w- it's not that I won't, but I don't think any guy is like down to pay enough. All right. Well, listen. Here's the deal. What do they pay you for, like an average? Five dollars a minute. A minute? Yeah. Yeah. For how many minutes? <laughs> Just <laughs> like, can I, can I play? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I like as long as that. they want, until they get bored with me. Five dollars a minute. So if they're tuned in for a half hour. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. I have a question. It would take me about five hours, though, with you. I, I don't mean that as a bad thing. But I, for me, if I'm not into your look, it would literally cost me about thirty thousand dollars. Oh, okay, I guess so. But you would get a percentage of that, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, if you're going, if you're going strictly by looks, yeah. I have a question. <laughs> uh, I mean, but it's one. Your, I'm assuming you have regulars, place. right, that come into yes. the room. Do you know them? Like, do you know their habits? Have you learned like what they're into, and um, you know the people I that know get the out way of hand? To jiggle and wiggle and what they like, yeah. And what what sites are you on? So the people that want to know, maybe me, uh, <laughs> I could go and look it up. Uh, SammySprinkles.CamModels.com. All BBW pinups. Wait, I'm not on that one anymore. All BBW Cams.com. You search Sammy Sprinkles. I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, all those fancy things. You are on Twitter, Tumblr. What's yeah. Tumblr? Oh, <laughs> you're so naive. You are so naive. I've heard of it, but I don't know. You're such it. a naive vampire. And I just, shut up. And I don't, I don't do Twitter. But I've heard of Tumblr, and I don't know what it is. You, oh. You're not going to. I. What do you. Have you ever seen a psychiatrist? Um, When I was cutting, I saw one. You were a cutter. For when I was like 12. I was a cutter too. All right. I know what it's like. I used to punch myself in the face. I talked about it in the air. I used yeah. to always, when I was 17, I would punch myself in the face until I had a black eye. Uh, no, I got laid right. when I was 16, so that was so over So you stopped cutting. Well, as soon as you started getting laid, yeah. you stopped cutting. That'd be, so sex has replaced hurting yourself. I so you hurt so. yourself with sex now. Well, I don't think I'm hurting myself. It's fun. Um... <sighs> I, I have a bad feeling about you. I have a Ooh. feeling that this oh is not no. going to end pretty with you. Why? What are you going to be doing in 20 years? What do you see yourself doing? I went to school for makeup effects, so... Are you going to have married and have children? No. Y- you're never going to marry a man? I don't Why? think so. Why? I don't want to. See, there's something going on with you. Men I, that, are worthless pigs. Wait, wait a second. Just because she doesn't want to get married and push no. out kids doesn't mean there's a problem no. with her. There's I some hate children. No, there's, no, there's something... Mean there's yeah. a problem with me? No. Yeah, there's a lot of problems with you. Oh, we're, look, we're, look who's talking. <laughs> that, that's, you, so many things. Wait, how old are I'm, you and why aren't you married? Hurts. By the way, there's something going on here. Just I'm just going to say. She doesn't want to get there married. There is. There's chemistry. Yeah. There is chemistry. What are you, Sammy, right? There's something going on there. Yeah, why aren't you married with kids? Yeah. Oh, but it's okay I, for a guy to Any know. child I ever had, I murdered. All right, me too. Before I was born. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't see a difference here. So you're into pro-choice? Yes. How many times have you gotten pregnant? Um, once I think. Seven or eight. Oh no. 
Because <laughs> I, I, I made a joke about I, this I, today, I've too. killed at least that many kids. Um, are you gonna be okay after the show? Like, are you gonna be sad? Oh no, I'm gonna go drink. Are you? What, and you're not gonna have sex tonight. Um, no, because I got it yesterday. But you're so. not looking for it tonight. If I wanted to be on your webcam show, because uh-huh. I'm a celebrity, uh-huh. and I wanted to do a special celebrity appearance right. with you and another woman, okay. could I come on your show and, and ju- we could just have a, like a crazy orgy? Um, you'd have to fill out the paperwork, but yes, you could. Really? And you'd be willing to do that? I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> you have to be more enthusiastic than that. That's like. Wait, I'm just confused. I thought you said you were trying to be celibate. You just had sex last night. No, she's making money. Well, yeah, she's if I'm making business, money. Business, business. Yeah. Oh, so not personally. You mean. Yeah. Okay. So how would it go down? Like, I would walk on in and just take my clothes off? Yeah, we would just turn the chat on and sit there and bullshit till someone was like, I'll give you my money. And then, like, show starts. And then and what? They have to pay you via PayPal or credit card or something? Um, If we're on the site, it goes, he just clicks a button and the money starts going by a minute and he can stop it at any time. Or we could do it on like Yahoo or Skype and make PayPal and do it that right. way. Can I tell you what bothers me? I, I just realized it because I've been t- listening to you and, and mm-hmm. hearing your answers to our questions. There's something very robotic about you. It might just am I right? There's something. There's like a. It's like she has no soul. It's. it's I ain't a, got no morals. No, it's like you have no soul. All right. I, I, yeah, I, I I've feel like I feel like we're the ones with no. Soul. I feel like I feel like you're dead inside. There's something. There's. I should be turned on by you. I, I should be sitting here <laughs> getting a hard on, and I feel like crying. Oh, because there's sorry. something very mon. There's something about the way you're you're talking, that is making me sad. Andrew, do you know what I'm saying? Were, yeah, you know, I. I you said yourself, if it were Terra Petra, that's what you think. No, I feel like. Porn star. If it were Terra Petra, there would you no, feel the same way? No, no, I think no. it's a business. I mean, don't you you deal with a lot of yeah. scummy guys? But you seem you seem very like. You seem like you've been through so much shit that now it's like, oh, whatever, I just go and have sex. I, I wish you were more sexual. I wish you were saying, oh, no, guys, like when I, like I'm, I'm totally into it and I, I, I can do. But, but why do you want her to lie? Yeah. She sounds no, like I'm she's beaten like, down by life a little bit. What? And that I, I, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to pay. I, I'd feel bad. I'd rather just give you money and not Aww. have you do the sex part. <laughs> How old are you, can I ask? 23. Imagine you said she's 16. Oh, <laughs> show's <laughs> over. We'd have to jump out the window. Like, That's you know, it, the last show We'd have show to like, pull doing. the plugs. Like, where are your parents? Because <laughs> <laughs> we need to have parental right. consent. Uh, all right, before we go, I just have, you, you brought a friend with you. Yes, I did. April, who's the model of the week and stepping out this week. Can I ask April just a few very quick questions about you? Do you mind? April, come here for a second. April's your friend. April modeled for me this past week. April, talk right into that mic. How are like, you? Lean right over your Sammy's breast. Right, really even closer. Like, right, lean, put your head on her breast and answer my questions. <laughs> do, you, do you hear what I'm saying? How do you feel? Your Sammy's your friend. Tell me what's going on here. She's, um... She's Talking to the mic, like, right, like... <laughs> she's fine. Honestly, she is. I'm with her, like, every single day of my life, and we hang out, and she's not down. She's always in a good spirit. We hang out. We go places. Talk close, like girl, like this. Oh, like, okay. Uh, yeah, but we go everywhere. Me and her. We hang out every day. Everything's fine. So there's nothing to be sad about. No, not at all. She has a great life. Yes. Everything's fine. Yes. She's not gonna end up dead or hanging herself. No. Or I won't let that happen. <laughs> <All right. laughs> that wouldn't happen. Have you ever been on camera with her? Um. Yeah. Actually, I've been on her old camp because this one you have to sign up for. Right. And the old one, I used to just go on, hang out with her, and you know, wave to people. I'm like, you're not supposed to be on here. I'm like, yeah. but you didn't get crazy like Sammy gets crazy. Mm, no, I haven't. No. <laughs> Do you want to get crazy like Sammy gets crazy? Because if you got on there, I might actually <laughs> go on. Like, I, I could put up with Sammy if you were on the show. Like, I could deal with Sammy. She's more in your weight range. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you're you're pretty close to closer to what I like. Well, I you know Saragon, <laughs> but <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. Actually, all you guys turn me on. Like, there's a little flavor for everybody here tonight. It's like a menu. It really is a menu. You you have the busty blonde, you have Sammy, which I came and explained, <laughs> and, and, and you have Saragon, who, who's ridiculous. The crazy ginger with no soul. Ridiculous. Aww. And then there's Jessica, who is the alcoholic of the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And of course, Shauna, who um, is Shauna with nipple uh, piercings. Me yeah. too. Me too. Shauna. Me three. All of us. Is it, who doesn't did have nipple piercings? Hurt? Hurt? No. So you have nipple piercings? Wait, did mine hurt? I have nipple I piercings. Have so do we, yeah. She's got doubles, though. She's got like. Really? Look at that. See? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't have them pierced. 
course I do. Here we go. Oh. Of course, I'm into. I'm into pain. I, I know guys that by the time they had their second one pierced, they were ready to pass out. No. Well, that's we, why I didn't have a second one. Did came so she, can, can But I aren't I you one even I, only having I, one? Turn the camera off. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, that's. Ouch. You know what that's even wilder? You have a big, thick vein in your nipple. What is that? Scars. What is that? What is that from? Tell them about that. Why is your Why is your breast so beat up? I get beat up by a dominatrix, like on the regular. See, guys, <laughs> there's so much you, going on. Do you pay for that, or is that part no, of the show? I don't, I don't have to. Is she hot? Is she hot, at least? Hell yeah. They're, yeah. Hell yeah they're well, hot. why can't I be a part of that? I used to be a zombie. Come to the zombie why crawls. You, you were. I, oh, I right, was. We got to do it. Right, this is a to-be-continued show, because I have thousands of more questions. <laughs> so, you, so, Sammy, you get beat up by a woman, yeah. and your breast is disfigured because of it. Yeah, disfigured. April... I'm sure has done weird things to you. I want to get to April. Savagon used to be into S and M, and you're a vampire. This is a whole nother hour show that we have to come <laughs> back for, right? Sammy, I want you to come back because I have I have more questions. Oh, yeah, a lot okay. of questions. Will you bring the woman in that beat you up? Actually, maybe I think I can get it. Bring the woman in. What's that her name? Do I know her? A uh, mistress Shay. No, ball and chain. Brooklyn. What does she look yeah, like? Okay. She looks like you, but super skinny. Me? Yeah. Exactly uh, right. How hot is that? Yeah, but super, super skinny. I don't know why. I'd be jealous. I'm not super, super, super skinny. You don't need to be skinny. Skinny's not cool. Oh, no, All right, Andrew, can we can we have so. Mr. Shea come in and beat the hell out of Saragon on the show next week? You can beat you. And beat me up. Beat each other because I used to. Do be you want to come on the show next week? I'll be in uh, Massachusetts filming. Oh, All right, so we'll have. I'm filming for two. You, weeks. Well, you've been replaced by Mr. Shea. <laughs> Mr. Shea will be on the show next week. We will we will have me and you will get beat up on the air. All right? Want to be tied together while she spank spanks us? Uh, I, I, I guess so. You don't care about anything. Like everything, <laughs> everything, that. everything's so monotone. Like I don't know, whatever. Hey, can I can I punch you in the face? Yeah, I guess like, you can Just punch me in the that, face like, if you want. Can I can I kick you in the groin as hard as I can? Yeah, if you Just want. Just not I mean, burning I don't, I don't with spatulas really. again. Like that's not cool. Can I? Can that's I? That's what that is. Can I take a red hot fork and just like put a scar on your leg? Yeah, if you want it, you can put that scar on my leg. I don't no, care, whatever. No, um, if you were listen, like what fat and had a beard, I'd be hell yeah humping your leg. But you're I'm fat. fat and have a beard. No, you're not. I'm not fat. No. no. You know what's awesome? The funky facial hair. I'm not fat. It's kind of ugly, <laughs> right? Wait, you, you don't, don't think I'm fat and fat. have a beard? No. You're no. not fat. You have to. You're not fat. You don't fit her. Yeah. So if I was a little heavier, yeah. you'd be turned on by me? I'd be humping your leg right now, yes. Gain some weight. Go eat a couple cheeseburgers. I thought I was so fat. <laughs> anyway, we, <laughs> we... Listen, we got we got to end the show. That thin, perfect, like, chiseled thing is not hot. Yeah. They're douchebags. It's not yeah. attractive. Like. So you're attracted to me. More than... Like, then more than that chisel. More than Andrew, let's say. Well, Andrew... I got a belly. Andrew. Andrew looks too vanilla, right? He looks too normal. He does. Andrew's married. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Go I look like a people. bisexual vampire. What do you but mean? He, I look he, vanilla. I like vampires. However, <laughs> had he not been married, he's cute at first glance. But yeah, he does look a little too innocent and perfect. Yeah, for me. yeah. You need a guy like a little hardcore like I'm me. I'm a like, degenerate. Sorry, I'm an alcoholic no, with a dude, pill problem. Face it, you came in second tonight for the first time in <laughs> months. You've come in Shut second up, place. Shut up, Clancy. Turn the feet off. You he looks like he could be well, like well, on the cover of GQ or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, you 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 don't you're not you're not fit. For this crowd, this is not your crowd tonight, Andrew. We'll be back next week. You've been listening to the Chauncey Hayden Show live from the Sapphire Jones Club in New York City.